Metaverse and NFT A new technology known as the Metaverse will gradually replace the Internet in the near future. Neil Stevenson imagined, living avatars interacting in realistic 3D buildings, and other virtual reality situations. This is similar to those found in his 1992 science fiction novel, Snow Crash. Since then, technology has been evolving on a genuine metaverse, an online virtual world that incorporates augmented reality, virtual reality, 3D holographic avatars, video, and other communication technologies, has begun. Metaverse features have already been implemented into the gameplay of games such as Fortnite, Minecraft, and Roblox. Video game developers want to be a part of the metaverse's growth and expansion as well. Virtual reality, augmented reality, and video are all combined to create a virtual environment in which users may experience their own virtual world. Proponents of the metaverse see its users working, playing, and staying in touch with friends, while taking virtual trips throughout the world to achieve their goals. In comparing the Internet early beginnings with Metaverse, the Internet was created as a consequence of a series of technological developments. Such as the ability to connect computers across great distances and the ability to link from one web page to another. These technological skills served as the foundation for both the Internet's abstract structures, which included websites, apps, social networks, and everything else, built on them, and the Internet's tangible structures. Not to mention, the convergence of non-Internet devices like monitors, keyboards, mice, and touchscreens, which are all essential for the Internet to work correctly and efficiently. Furthermore, the ability to host hundreds of people on a single server, as well as motion tracking technology that can determine where a person's gaze is focused or where their hands are placed, are all critical features of the Internet. Certain challenges, on the other hand, may prove intractable. When firms like Microsoft and Meta, also known as Facebook, show graphic scenes of metaverse virtual reality images, they frequently avoid discussing how people will interact with the virtual environment. But even after years of development, virtual reality headsets, they are still not ergonomic, they are difficult to use. These augmented reality glasses and headset cause motion sickness to some people or physical discomfort, if worn for an extended period of time. According to Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Meta, also known as Facebook, the key elements of the metaverse will take 5 to 10 years to become extensively utilized and highly known. But the metaverse is currently a reality. Although ultra-fast internet and virtual reality goggles have become more widely available in recent years, they are still not generally available. And they are also very expensive to the average user. Facebook has already made significant investments in virtual reality, most notably with the 2014 acquisition of Oculus Rift. Meta or Facebook envisions a virtual world in which digital avatars connect with one another for the purposes of work, travel, and recreation. Mark Zuckerberg believes that the metaverse has the potential to entirely replace the Internet in the near future. Welcome to the metaverse, said Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg last month after revealing the company's name. He described the metaverse as the future platform and medium for immersive and embodied online experiences. Another giant corporation invested in metaverse as Microsoft. The software company is developing mixed and extended reality of apps that blend the real world with augmented and virtual reality experiences. Microsoft said that they are integrating mixed reality into its Microsoft Teams collaboration platform of 3D virtual networked retail and working environments. Furthermore, Xbox Live connects millions of gamers all around the world through their virtual reality platform. Also, Minecraft, which is owned by Microsoft, is a virtual world in which children may create their own digital avatars and construct whatever they want. Millions of children play this game. The metaverse will grow fast, due to the fact that millions of children already interacting with some version of the metaverse, 
And this is just the beginning. Now like anything else in life, the metaverse also has its negatives virtues. Like the wild, wild west, social media, allows third parties influences to mediate our lives, as a result of the vast quantities of information that the internet has accumulated about our behaviors. We are target with customized news and ads. For example, you either lean right or left. They will target you according to your political and religion's views. They feed you what you want to hear and watch. But this is also politic at its best. When someone tells you what you want to hear, but not the truth, that is pure politics. And this is disingenuous. This will be further worsened in a virtual environment, where other parties may be able to manipulate what you see and listen to. It is getting difficult to differentiate between real news and fake news, and this is dividing us more and more. Now let's talk about the NFTs or non-fungible tokens. These are for examples, virtual or digital art, music, games, real estate, movies or anything you desire in the virtual world. Many NFTs can be bought and sold online, and they are driven by the same software as many other cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Non-traditional marketplaces, which have been around for many years, are becoming increasingly popular as a method to purchase and sell digital items. NFTs are often one of a kind or limited edition items, with a unique serial number. But the key to NFTs is the authenticity or originality. An NFT must be original, in order to have value. Viewing NFTs images on the internet, is entirely free. But you might ask, how can anybody justify spending millions of dollars on something that can simply be filmed or downloaded? Well, the answer to this question is that the buyer is entitled to keep the original item with an NFT. These NFTs use authentication technologies to determine whether someone or anything is who or what they claim to be. Like I said before, authenticity and originality are what make NFTs valuable. That is why, it is called non-fungible tokens. Everything about the non-transferable token, NFT, is built using technology similar to cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin and Ethereum are both fungible, which means they may be swapped for one another or interchangeable. Like a dollar is a dollar, and a Bitcoin remains a Bitcoin no matter how many times it is traded. Because of the fungibility of Bitcoin, it is a reliable method of transacting on the blockchain. NFTs on the other hand are like works of art, that are one of a kind. NFTs cannot be swapped or matched with other NFTs, due to their digital signatures, hence, non-fungible. NFT is only as valuable as the money someone else is willing to spend on it. Financial principles as, fundamental, technical analysis, and economic factors, have no influence on NFT's prices or, at the very least, will not serve as the basis for investor demand in the near future. As a result, the worth of an NFT's may be less than what you paid for it. If no one wants to buy it, you might not be able to sell it. Capital gains are taxed on NFT's in the same way as they are on stock and investment transactions. However, collector's goods are not eligible for the same favorable long-term capital gains rates as stocks. They may even be taxed at a higher collector's rate. Keep in mind that the cryptocurrencies you used to buy the NFTs may be taxed if their value has increased since you received them. So, it is a good idea to contact a tax professional before adding NFTs to your investment portfolio. In order to acquire NFTs, you must first create a digital wallet that houses both NFTs and cryptocurrencies. You may have to buy cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Ethereum, depending on your NFT provider, to purchase them. Credit card purchases of cryptocurrency are now allowed on cryptocurrencies platform market exchanges. The money can then be transferred from the exchange to your crypto wallet account. Then you will be able to purchase NFTs in the marketplaces, 
after your wallet has been established and funded. Metaverse is also influencing the healthcare industry as well. We are starting to see some significant advancements in the healthcare industry. There are many groups of medical research specialists, collaborating on the development of home medical gadgets, which make use of cutting-edge technology. Some of these gadgets are making people aware of their blood pressure numbers. These gadgets also monitor your heart, and believe it or not, some of these gadgets also monitor people's emotions as well. So as a result of these healthcare gadgets, it is much easier to keep track of your overall health. In addition, while in-person consultations are not always available, these health gadgets give crucial data that you may show to your doctor when necessary. A few examples of these gadgets include the Feel Wristband, which tracks and determines your emotions at any given time, the Air Sonia, which examines your breathing patterns to determine whether or not you have asthma, and the Body Guardian, which assists doctors in monitoring a patient's health and providing remote assistance in an emergency. So, this is just the beginning of the metaverse, it is just getting started. The metaverse ladies and gentlemen, is here to stay. So, the NFTs and the metaverse, ladies and gentlemen, are no longer the future. They are here now, and it will progressively replace the internet as a means of communication. As a result of this, technology has progressed on a true metaverse, an online virtual environment that includes augmented reality, virtual reality, 3D holographic avatars, video, and various other communication technologies, which are game changer. There's some popular video games, like Fortnite, Minecraft, and Roblox, that have already integrated metaverse elements into their gameplay. Video game makers, like everyone else, want to be a part of the metaverse's growth and development. Mark Zuckerberg, CEO of Meta, commonly known as Facebook, mentioned that it will take 5 to 10 years for the key aspects of the metaverse to become widely employed and widely known. A virtual world in which digital avatars can connect with one another, for the sake of business, travel, and enjoyment, is what Meta, also known as Facebook, envisions. Mr. Zuckerberg believes that in the not-too-distant future, the metaverse has the potential to completely replace the internet. He also revealed the new company's name called Meta, by saying, Welcome to the metaverse. Also, NFTs, or non-fungible tokens, are game changers, which might include, for example, virtual or digital art, music, games, real estate, movies, or whatever else you can imagine in the virtual world, but only if you can afford them. This is due to speculators, who buy these things and sell them at very high prices so, since the metaverse and NFT are based on the same platform and technology as cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, it is necessary to first construct a digital wallet, that will hold both NFTs and cryptocurrencies, before you can begin purchasing NFTs. So, get ready, for this new age of metaverse and NFTs. Please subscribe, and like this video, thank you, and I will see you in the next video.